we just saw like the cars all, all, all busted up. There was there was like one car on the sidewalk. Uh, one car flipped. It was a truck like flipped over. Now in five, dangerous driving in the North Bay ending in tragedy. A suspected robber trying to get away from Vallejo police crashing and killing an innocent driver. A surveillance camera capturing the wild ride's moment of impact on a busy street. Good evening this Friday. I'm Christina Rendon. And I'm Greg Lee. That suspect remains on the run. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is here now after speaking to witnesses. Henry. Christina and Greg, this is just a tragedy. A man lost his life because a driver refused to pull over for Vallejo police and it was all caught on video. It happened in a split second. <laughs> Surveillance video captures the moment a suspect evading Vallejo police crashes, killing the driver of another car. The suspect gets out but can't open the passenger door, so he runs off. Apparently he was a robbery suspect, and now, like, he killed the guy, and he, he evaded the cops, like, now it's just worse for him, too. The crash happened at Springs Road and Tregasas Avenue at about 540 Wednesday afternoon. The suspect was speeding west on Springs in a Toyota Avalon when he clips a Toyota Tundra, which spins into a parked car and flips over. The driver of the Tundra, 58-year-old Hudson Stanley, died at the scene. <laughs> Seconds later, Vallejo police arrive, but the suspect is long gone. The officers realize a woman's dazed and injured in the passenger seat of the smashed Avalon. Police found a loaded gun inside the car. Poor girl just hanging out with the wrong kind of people. Jose Lopez was working in a nearby barber shop. He says both the suspect and police bear some responsibility for the tragedy. The cops, they got to do their, they're just doing their job. But I mean, also like, it's a, like such a high speed chase, like on such a small street. It is dangerous, too. Police say the Avalon matched the description of a car wanted in connection with armed robberies. This video shows the moment a Vallejo officer spotted the car at Tennessee and Tuolumne Streets. After the officer activates lights and sirens, the Avalon takes off and refuses to stop. <laughs> Vallejo Police Sergeant Rashad Hollis says officers were trying to catch up to the suspect at the time he crashed. This video shows an officer about 15 seconds behind the car, roughly the same time difference at the moment of the crash. This is a sad occurrence for, for, every, for everybody. I have my condolences for uh, the family. Now, anyone who recognizes the driver should contact Vallejo police. If caught, he can be liable for vehicular manslaughter. Greg? It's a heartbreaking situation there. Henry Lee live in our newsroom tonight. Henry, thank you.